We have an update this midday for a Kansas City woman. In October, thieves stole the prosthetic arm of the local woman right out of her van. The bionic device cost around $127,000 to replace, and Carmona simply did not have the insurance to cover that. To show the world what I looked at without my, pres with my prosthesis, and my confidence level was very low. 41 Action News reporter Belinda Post is live now with a happy surprise. Belinda. Absolutely. Well, Gabby actually was getting fitted just a few moments ago, and then she had to get back to work. Guys, she works two jobs, and there are very few people probably who would be this deserving. So she did have her arm stolen back in September out of her minivan. It was very unfortunate, and 41 Action News was there to cover it. But here, she is going home with two hands. This one's for more articulate movements, and this one's for more robust things, like if she has to carry things. Well, one of the people helping all of this come together is Dr. Julian Wells. In fact, he's a prosthetist here at Advanced Arm Dynamics. So kind of talk about all of the moving parts that really are helping these things come to Gabby. Yeah, so there's, there's many. Um, creating function with hands that have a high level of function are is, is pretty difficult to do, and then reaching out to uh, find donations to do so has been awesome. And so for Gabby to run the hand, we have to have a socket that fits her well, um, sensors that pick up the muscle signals that she's sending, and then the hands themselves. So we were super fortunate to be able to get a multi-articulating hand donated from Steeper USA, one of the manufacturers of, of hands. And we also had um, a family that actually had a recently deceased family member who was also a prosthetic wearer that donated electrodes and um, her other hands. Absolutely, and that family lives right here in Kansas City and, in fact, saw the news coverage and then was able to do so. Gabby says that this is all like a dream coming true. She says one thing she didn't want to happen when this was stolen out of her vehicle. She didn't want it to make her bitter. She wanted to keep moving. That's exactly what she's done. She continues her work at the domestic violence shelter as well as going school to school. Reporting live in Overland Park, Belinda Post, 41 Action News.